It's just a bizarre case and unique. You have an 800 pound woman accused of crushing her nephew to death. She said she accidentally fell. Maida said, I accidentally fell on the child. She's automatically convicted in everybody's eyes because all they see is a mugshot or an investigation from the sheriff's department that says she did it. I received a phone call from Adult Protective Services in Panitas that there was a case I needed to see as soon as possible. Myra, Dr. Brown. Myra has been under the care of Dr. Jetta Brown for several weeks following the incident. It had been a year and a half since Myra had seen a doctor. She was at death's door when I met her. She had pneumonia and pulmonary edema. She might have made it a week had nobody intervened, but she wouldn't have made it any further. Today, Dr. Brown is sending Myra to the hospital to run additional tests and chest x-rays. It was about two or three days before I could get anybody to help me with her because they were all so afraid of what's being said on TV. What was your last weight, Myra? Seven, seven, six. Can you walk right up to the door? If we help, it would help you. Yes, but I need a chair like to lean on because my knees can't take all my weight. In my entire clinical career, I've never seen a case like this. And that's the first thing I thought of when I saw her. I thought, you belong in the New England Journal. You belong in the Book of Internal Medicine. But Myra has to have 10 men to move her. And it takes an extra wide ambulance. And they don't put her on a stretcher. They just slide her in on the floor. Three. She didn't move. 